What we're looking at are three deburring tools. First one, I got it from uh, the big box store. I think I got it online. And it works for only certain things. And most of the time, I can't get a lot of use out of it because I work with plastic. And plastic needs to be deburred a little differently, especially on 3D prints and especially on brims around like circular shapes or shapes that do not have a lot of jagged edges. Because this spins around it kind of slips out of your hand, so you need to kind of put your finger on it and hold it as you deburr. So because of that, I decided to look on the internet and I found this one on Thingiverse. And it does get the job done, but it's still fatiguing your hand because it's too small and it doesn't properly fit. Like right here, you don't have a good grip on it. So therefore, I kind of made a sleeve for it and you can just fit it into the sleeve but obviously i had to kind of file the sleeve because it didn't fit properly because this tool has its own kind of markings and uh, artistic <laughs> stuff on it so therefore it works and it kind of doesn't work because i wasn't happy with the sleeve too much because it's too skinny right here and you have this here so it kind of like gets out is not really helpful it was a quick uh, attempt to just uh, wrap around somebody else's design and in addition like if you ever want this to uh, use it as a pin vise or you want to 3d print it i had to uh, scale this to 140 percent in order for the threads to actually work so as you can see this is a little beefier compared with the rest of the tool and i mean it's good but it's not that good if you want to use it as a hand drill it's not really great because it's it's too small it's like for like baby hands i would say so i kind of took this one looked at it and i decided to come up with this design and this design i'm very fond of it because i designed it from one end to another and basically you have uh, everything in one tool you can have a pen vise and a fixed blade modular deburring tool and as i was designing and 3d printing the tool itself or the actual collet now i'm assuming that what i hold in my hand is the chuck and this is the collet i kind of figured out that these fins they, they could easily break so what do you do when this breaks off you kind of have to throw away the entire tool. So kind of I decided to modularize it. So we're going to just put this one together. Okay. Here. And this is a modularized version. So basically the collet threads in here. And uh, you can uh, have a storage compartment here. Okay. So that's how I modularized it. So if you look at it, you just take the collet and if you break a fin you just 3d print the collet and that's it as you can see this is hexagonal as well as this so you can use like a needle nose pliers or like a skinny um, wrench to actually undo the threads and change the pieces in addition i decided to also use it as a storage tool so basically if you have this tool you can have a collet that threads in here like a spare collet because if you want to use this with like a very skinny like very skinny drill bits like the ones here like the collet that is designed for this for the deburring blades or shanks whatever you want to call them um, they're designed to have a little more room so you, I designed two collets if you want to 3D print two collets and one, you can keep it right here in the tool with, along with some other blades. And this is kind of like a collet saver so you don't break the fins when you like mess around with it. This is the fixed blade modular 3D printing, 3D printed deburring tool for deburring plastics, I would say. And you can also use it as a pen vise for drilling holes with your hands. And now this being a little bigger or a lot bigger compared with this one, and it fits nicely in your hand, at least in my hands. I have medium hands, I guess. Um, it kind of feels nice. So I've, I've been using it to deburr the plastics here. 
Now, on this plastic, it kind of skips because it's very difficult to get a perfect cut or edge. But it is much better than this one because, as you can see, the blade is inserted way too low. And these, they're a little larger. Basically, they're longer. So it kind of gives you the perfect placement for the finger. Uh, drop a line in the comments. Uh, I'm going to put a link to this one. Uh, unless you just want to print this one but uh when this one's fins if they ever break on you okay uh and you cannot use it with like small drill bits if um these fins break on you you have to 3d print the entire thing all right so i bid the monami's farewell and adieu